Okay, uh, tonight I'm going to make uh, testing. One, two, three. Hi, so tonight what I'm going to do is a lot of people I see are asking for the detail on how to change out their springs and jack felts uh, for Wurlitzer uh, action. I have a Wurlitzer 200A and uh, I pulled out my actions. You can get that off of other videos. But um, I'm going to show you what I've been doing. I've done about 30 of them so far. Uh, what I do first, actually, is I first thing I do is I pre-soak uh, the felts and the springs with acetone. I'll show you how I do that because I, I redo it before I take them off. Um, things I need are glue, um, lubricant from Vintage Five, Vibe, uh, razor blade little penny screwdriver um, the one I'm working on felt uh, and I've got a, a dropper of acetone and also I have springs the, the new springs so the first thing I'm going to show you what to do is to uh, make sure that you've got acetone in all the uh, places you need it so I just put a drop there for the spring. The spring has a lot of glue in it. Sometimes you just kind of tip it a little bit and get it down in there and let it soak. And I pre-soak this one so it comes off a little easier. So, yeah. uh, so let, me, uh, let me just remove this. You can remove it with your finger now. Let's see if we can set the camera somewhere so you can see this. And just kind of work it off. When you've got a lot of acetone on it, though, it comes off pretty easy. You see, there you go. A little too close. I don't really have a lot of room to work here. So there. Let's get it that way because so you can see exactly. Uh, when I took took off that felt at the top. Let's take off the bottom one so you can see my hands. Okay, so I'm going to take off the bottom one, same way with my fingers, look it came right off, and then um, I just storm away, and you just scrape the rest of the glue off, and this is sometimes where I'll use the razor blade just to make sure I get all a lot of the glue off. So it's pretty clean. And then the next thing is the hard part. You uh, take the spring out. And I just pick it out with this little screwdriver. And sometimes they come out easy and sometimes they don't. It really depends on how much acetone you soaked in there. The more you soaked in, the easier it is to pop out. And hopefully we get lucky with this one. Yeah, we did. We actually, well, the last ring in the spring, I don't know, I think we got it. So there we go. We pulled one out successfully. That, now, that doesn't always happen because they're, uh, they're kind of uh, hard to get out. Um, sometimes they stick in and you got to just kill them, but uh, to get them out, you just pull them apart. But this one came out intact, and I'm going to save some good old ones just because. Um, scrape out the glue. Anyway, I take the little screwdriver and I scrape the rest of the glue out of the hole because there's a lot of glue down in these. Some have got a real lot. Um, and you got to get it out of there before you put the new spring in or you're just going to be fighting it. And it comes out like it's like gorilla snot or something. So I just keep scraping it out and it comes off. And eventually you get it done. When it's clean, you may want to. At this point, if you still a lot of glue, what you may want to do is you may want to hit it with acetone again. 
and just to break some of it free. I mean, there's a, like I said, the, the, the springs, for some reason, they loaded up these holes with glue more than they did even on the felt. So, I think I got it good enough. I think what I want to do now is I'm going to put my new spring in. There's my new spring. Kind of a goldish color. And what I do is I take glue and I glue the bottom. Just a little bit of glue. Just a dab. Dab the bottom just a little bit. Just basically run the... See if I can get this on the video. Run, run the spring around the top of the bottle of the glue. Let's get some glue on there. See it's a little bit of glue on there. And you stick it down into the little well. Which is a little bit of a trick with your hands. And you push the spring underneath and you try to have to get uh, at this point you gotta like get the uh, spring to you can get a view of that got to get the spring underneath the little lip into its hole and you can see that's pretty self-explanatory when you're doing it and then once it's in there it is it's in then you take a little screwdriver or something and you push it up the top up into the seat the best you can the bottom you just check it and then and you, you check it out here and you make sure it's good. The new springs are actually, they definitely are stiffer than the older springs. I don't care what anybody says, I think they are. I don't know if it's going to help at this point, but I started the project anyway. So then the next thing I do is I take my razor knife and my roll of felt. I'm going to chop little squares for the felt for the, you know, the kind of rule of thumb is to make them look like the old ones you pulled off. I like to make them a little bit fatter. So, here I am cutting them with a razor. Try to cut one right in front of you. And they snip pretty easy. I rub my razor blade and I'll do one more. And they're good. Two nice little fat little felts. So then you take your uh, here and you glue your bottom here to drop if you can get it out. Just a drop. I'll show you what the drop I mean. Just a drop. Drop, drop on the top. Drop on the bottom. Really don't need a heck of a lot. You don't want too little though. But you never really don't need a lot. So then you see you drop on the top, drop on the bottom, and you push your felts on. Try not to get too much glue around the, like I just did, a little too much around the sides, but it's kind of how it goes sometimes. And there you go. You are felted up, and you got your new spring in, and you're looking good. And what you need to do after that, is, well, one of the things you need to check about is you have to definitely um, press your felt because uh, keep pressing it a couple times to make sure it's on there good. And last but not least is the oil. Basically, you oil up all your little hinges, man. Oil. Oil everything that's a hinge. Oil it good. And um, work it. Work it up. Work it, baby. Work it. Work it. Work it. And, uh, and another one's ready to be put in and then I put them all over here whoops
Right, here we go. We're still recording. Anyway, that's it. I don't know what happened there with the video, but there they all are. It's are drying. I'm going to let them dry before I put them back in. And that's how you, the detail and how you replace your, refurbish your uh, action. Thanks.